Is the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra better than ZTE Axon 40 Pro? Well, let's find out by comparing the specs of both phones side by side. In the end, I will tell you which one I think is better and why. Let's get started with the design. The ZTE Axon 40 Ultra measures 163mm in length, 73.6mm in width, and 8.4mm in thickness, while the ZTE Axon 40 Pro measures 162.9mm in length, 72.9mm in width, and 8.7mm in thickness. In body size, the Axon 40 Ultra will appear slimmer to hold than the Axon 40 Pro. While the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra weighs 204 grams, the ZTE Axon 40 Pro weighs 199 grams lighter. Both the Axon 40 Ultra and 40 Pro support dual SIM. Looking at the display, the ZTE Axon 40 Pro has a 6.67 inches screen size, while the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra has a screen size of 6.8 inches. The Axon 40 Ultra has a screen resolution of 1116 by 2480 pixels display, while the Axon 40 Pro has a screen resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. While the refresh rate of the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is 120Hz, the Axon 40 Pro 144Hz. Both the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra and 40 Pro feature an AMOLED display type. The PPI density of the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is 400 PPI, while the ZTE Axon 40 Pro is 395 PPI. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that. I will appreciate it if you do that. Let's look at the performance, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra has up to a 3GHz octa-core processor, while the Axon 40 Pro operates on an octa-core processor of up to 3.2GHz. The chipset on the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, while on ZTE Axon 40 Pro is a Snapdragon 875G. And, both phones run on Android 12. With an Adreno 730 graphics processing unit on the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra, and on the ZTE Axon 40 Pro an Adreno 650 graphics processing unit. In terms of memory, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra comes in 128 to 1 terabytes of storage, while the Axon 40 Pro comes in 128 to 512 gigabytes of storage. Meanwhile, the maximum RAM on the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is 16 gigabytes, and on the ZTE Axon 40 Pro is a 12 gigabytes. Both phones do not have a memory card slot for expansion. Looking at the camera of both phones, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra features a rear camera setup of a 64-megapixel wide-angle camera supported by a 64-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera and another 64-megapixel telephoto camera. While the ZTE Axon 40 Pro features a similar camera setup, a 100-megapixel wide-angle camera, supported by an 8-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera, and a 2-megapixel macro camera with a 2-megapixel depth camera. Looking at the video quality, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra can shoot in 8K at 30 frames per second, while the Axon 40 Pro can shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second. Onto the front-facing camera of the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is a 16-megapixel under-display wide camera, while on the ZTE Axon 40 Pro is a 16-megapixel wide camera. The ZTE Axon 40 Ultra selfie camera can shoot in 1080p at 30 frames per second, while the Axon 4 Pro selfie camera can shoot in 4K at 30 frames per second. Let's look at the battery capacity of both phones. The ZTE Axon 40 Ultra and the Axon 40 Pro are powered with a 5000 mAh battery. Meanwhile, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra and Axon 40 Pro have a fast charging of 65 watts. Both phones feature a loudspeaker, wireless LAN, 5G connectivity, Bluetooth, GPS, and NFC, and don't have a 3.5 headphone jack. Overall, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra beats the ZTE Axon 40 Pro in the comparison score. In my opinion, the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra is better than the Axon 40 Pro in performance, 8K video capability, and memory size since it has up to 16GB of RAM. However, both phones are excellent. Which do you think is better for you? Leave your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.